अभी क्या करते हैं हम लोग मुर्गी को आप लोग का 40 ग्राम का मुर्गी जो आता है ना 35 फाइव डे में दो के जी बना लेते हैं ये हमारा मैजिक है ये वेटनेरियन है तो हम लोग उसको जैसे जेनेटिकल बनाते हैं कि उसको प्रोबायोटिक के नाम पे पूरा पंद्रह दिन तक एंटीबायोटिक देते हैं टेट्रासाइक्लिन पाउडर सिप्रोप्लोक्साइन साइक्लो डॉक्सीन पाउडर जो भी दो और सबसे अच्छा चीज है अभी आप जो चिकन खा रहे हैं ना वो बॉडी में सब जाता नहीं वो मीट में रहता है वो आपके अंदर आता है इट वॉज रैम्पेंटली यूज इन ओल्ट्री इकोल एंड वी फाउंड दैट लॉर्ड ऑफ डेथ वेर है बिकॉज एंटीबायोटिक इज नॉट स्टोनिंग रीजन दे वेर ईटिंग द चिकन रीजन द चिकन वेर गिवन दिस कोलेस्ट्रीन Uh, respected uh, dignitaries and uh, all the very pyare bachche jo wahan pe baithe hain so ye aisa hota hai ki veterinary is a very beautiful segment so it's the ethno veterinary practice why why it is there in uh, in india why now why this is come you know ek to hum log dekhenge ki jitna bhi hum log ka traditional practice hai that is very cost effective kyunki hum log jo hai na वी आर बोथ एक तो एग्रीकल्चर के रिलेटेड है क्योंकि हम लाइवलीहुड को बढ़ाते हैं दूसरी तरफ एम बी बी एस के तरह तो लाइफ में है तो ये दोनों के बीच में हम लोग का रहता है लाइफ एंड लाइवलीहुड सो हमको देखना पड़ता है कि फार्मर का जो इन्वेस्टमेंट ज्यादा ना हो और इसके ऊपर भी ज्यादा असर ना हो तो ऐसा हुआ है कि विथ डॉक्टर एस कुमार एक्चुअली आई हैव प्रिपेयर दिस लाइट एंड वन मोर प्रोजेक्ट डन विद जाट इन टू मिनट I'll speak it in another two minutes. So, yeah, what is antimicrobial resistance? आप लोगों ने सुना होगा कि हम लोग का ना जो मेडिसिन अभी पंद्रह साल पहले जो मेडिसिन अगर पैरासीटामोल पंद्रह साल पहले आप फाइव हंड्रेड एम जी का खाते थे हो जाता था आज सिक्स फिफ्टी का खाने से भी नहीं हो रहा है बोलते हैं सर आपका फीवर हो ना आप एंटीबायोटिक भी ले जाओ नो यू नो धीरे धीरे क्या होगा ना हम लोग का एंटी माइक्रोबल रेजिस्टेंस बढ़ रहा है एंटीबायोटिक काम नहीं कर रहा है कहीं जो भी देखो इसलिए तो सब बोल रहे हैं कि भाई चलो दूसरा कुछ ट्राई करते हैं पतंजलि क्या करते हैं ये है मेन रीजन जो कि हम लोग आज अवॉइड करते हैं ऐसे सेम सिस्टम इज देयर इन अवर एनिमल्स आल्सो अभी क्या करते हैं हम लोग मुर्गी को आप लोग का 40 ग्राम का मुर्गी जो आता है ना 35 डे में दो के जी बना लेते हैं ये हमारा मैजिक है ये वेटनेरियन है तो हम लोग उसको जैसे जेनेटिकल बनाते हैं कि उसको प्रोबायोटिक के नाम पे पूरा पंद्रह दिन तक एंटीबायोटिक देते हैं टेट्रासाइक्लिन पाउडर सिप्रोप्लोक्साइन साइक्लो डॉक्सीन पाउडर जो भी दो और सबसे अच्छा चीज है अभी आप जो चिकन खा रहे हैं ना वो बॉडी में सब जाता नहीं वो मीट में रहता है वो आपके अंदर आता है ओके सो व्हाट हैपेंस कि आपने एंटीबायोटिक तो खाया नहीं लेकिन जो चिकन मीट खाया ना वो डायरेक्टली एंटीबायोटिक कम्स टू आर बॉडी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एंटीबायोटिक रेसिड्यू ये मेजर है चलो मुर्गी को दे दिया गाय को दे दिया उसको दस साल बाद काम नहीं करेगा वो छोड़ो यार उसको आदमी है ना अगर उसको खाएंगे तो हम लोग का प्रॉब्लम होगा दैट इज ए एम आर लेकिन हम लोग वेन यू आर इन फॉरन वॉट यू थिंक अबाउट इज ए भेट ए एम आर क्योंकि एनिमल में भी एंटीबायोटिक रेजिस्टेंस होता है तो नाउ वॉट यू थिंक कि चलो ये हम लोग कैसे एनिमल के ऊपर भी थोड़ा ट्रेडिशनल प्रैक्टिस करते हैं इफ यू विल सी द ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन सर ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड जैसे हम लोग का द बेस्ट ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन जो कि इन मतलब वर्ल्ड में दैट इज टी सी एम ट्रेडिशनल चाइनीज मेडिसिन और सबसे अच्छा है कि उसका भी वेटनेरी है टीसीबीएम उसका वर्ल्ड ओवर उनका एसोसिएशन है दे आर प्रैक्टिसिंग दे आर डूइंग एक्यूपंक्चर और हम लोग उसको अभी सीखने के लिए इतना पैसा खर्च करके जाते हैं उन्होंने यूएसए में भी मतलब बना दिया अपना काई इंस्टीट्यूट बना दिया वहां पे ट्रेनिंग और अभी जब उनके साथ अभी इंटरेक्शन किया ना दे टोल्ड इट इज ए टू थाउजेंड ईयर ओल्ड प्रैक्टिस देन आई टोल्ड वेर वेर इट केम हुन ही वॉज कमिंग आई थिंक मोती सर एग्री विथ मी ऑल्सो ही वॉज यूज टू टेक मेडिसिन फ्रॉम आज द मर्म चिकित्सा बोलते हैं आयुर्वेद में that they converted into acupuncture or hum marmo chikitsa ko bhul gaye and now we are learning from that that sir is telling that uh, that martial art it is from our side only so itna veterinary practice mein hum log ko ye traditional medicine ko abhi abhi nahi bol sakte ki try china aage nahi hai china bhi aage hai kyunki unka kaam kar raha hai hum apne ayurved ke upar itna kaam nahi kiya veterinary ayurved so what happened in 2019 jaise main kal ek story bata raha tha time nahi hai जैसे हम मेरे को एक मेल आया कि जर्मनी से तो बोले कि सर हम लोग आपको आने वाला आयुर्वेद के ऊपर सिखाएंगे मैं बोला ये भाई क्या बात हुआ ऐसा कि हम लोग का जापान को हम लोग लोहे का पत्थर देते थे और वो हमको लोहा बेच रहा है हाँ तो वैसे हो गया तो देन वी थॉट कि नो इट्स टू मच 
Then in 2019, Indian Veterinary Association wrote a letter to uh, Department of Animal Management that we want this veterinary Ayurveda. And the best thing is that we have been studying five and a half years, we have been allopathic, we are equal to MBBS, we are not Ayurvedic. We don't like Ayurveda, we don't like it, we don't like it, we don't like it, we don't like it. So what happens? ये हमारे ही वेटनेरियन हमारे अपोजिट में आ गए सर ये क्या कर रहे हैं इंडियन वेटनरी एसोसिएशन इज एपेक्स बॉडी ऑफ सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड वेटनेरियंस ऑफ ऑल ओवर इंडिया सो अराउंड एट्टी परसेंट अपोज तो उनको कन्विंस करने के लिए बहुत टाइम लगा देन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड एमओ यू वॉज साइंड बिटवीन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनिमल हजबेंड दैट यस द वेटनरी आयुर्वेद विल बी इंक्लूडेड एंड इट वॉज and promoted the medicinal plant what you were sir mentioning so now you know in OUAT our vice chancellor the professor PK Rao is very much interested in and I was talking to him regarding your book also in the meanwhile so a committee was born to include this Ayurveda in our course so uh, Murthy sir also know your TDU is taking the lead in this so Rajesh Kotecha is there uh, uh, from our secretary so like this you know we were studying this blood cardiovascular system everything here now we will study the Pancham Mahabhuta, all these things from the next year. In 2023, it is going to be implemented. The meeting is uh, the BCA curriculum, they have included it. So we are going to study these other things. Huh, you know, one medicine that was there, cholesterol sulfate. It was banned in 2019. You have heard it, July 2000. It was rampantly used in old tree E. coli. And we found that a lot of deaths were happening because antibody is not responding. Reason, they were eating the chicken. Reason? The chicken were given this cholesterol. So it was completely banned. Huh? And the beautiful thing is, America banned it in 2000. And we banned it in 2019. And America was producing this and selling to us since 2002 to 2019. See? Huh? So in, in veterinary science, we included all these veterinary medicines, nutrition, gastrotone, Ayurveda, all these are Ayurvedic medicine included. And this is that same format what you are seeing. Uh, you can get the uh, website is there, NDDBCOOP Pharma. You will get all the things uh, is there. And uh, to my surprise, after surprise, what I was, Murthy sir, I was mentioning, you know, all these, also Ayurveda, Goja Ayurveda, Go Ayurveda, Hasti Ayurveda, all these are there in the Odisha State Museum Library. All the pothi are there. And all that we have converted to e pothi and it is available online also. So I was requesting to our IKS team and also I will request other universities also. You can, you know, translate it like they are doing some of the things with uh, SOI, SOI University. So this is that Asho Sastra that is written in Sanskrit. This is Go Chikitsha. It is written in Odia. So you can translate it. And with our effort, uh, you know, like there is a pharmacopoeia there where actually, you know, from that only you can, uh, you know, design your medicine. Uh, Indian pharmacopoeia and integrated medicine that is for homeopathy and Ayurveda. Last year in uh, 23rd of October, they, every year on the Dhanvantri day, they celebrate is the National Ayurveda Day. And on that day, they released the formulary of, of the veterinary first time. And on that day, uh, around 18 countries all over the world, we celebrated it as a World Veterinary Ayurveda Day. So that was my contribution for our uh, Indian Veterinary Association. And these are the things we have done for promotion of veterinary Ayurveda. And Indian Veterinary Association is associate, uh, affiliated to World Veterinary Association, Commonwealth Veterinary Association, Asian Veterinary Association. And we have formed recently the SARC Veterinary Association. Because if you will see SARC, this Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, everything was coming under our Bharat. So you will find the similarity of medicines are there. Even, you know, they are using the Unani system. Some are using uh, this uh, Siddha medicine from Tamil Nadu, I think Professor Punya Murthy will agree with me. So uh, they are using. So they have some similarity are there. And being an uh, Indian Veterinary Association, we are promoting the traditional veterinary medicine. So what happened? Uh, uh, recently we have uh, in August, we are having that WHO traditional medicine conclave. I will request everyone to participate if get a chance there. Uh, on 17th and 18th, last year they inaugurated the Global Center for Traditional Medicine and 194 countries consented for that. And our uh, director Petrovas uh, was there, our PM was also there, some uh, international, uh, you know, practitioners were also there. And this year on 17th and 18th, uh, you can uh, participate there. And there is a special session on uh, also our veterinary medicine. Because previously they were thinking it is human medicine. But I told them, so see, one health means it is three parts. Human health, animal health, 
and the environment health. Environment health is basically the plants. So Bruksha Ayurveda is one part, uh, you know, there is a forum called the World Ayurveda Forum. It is there in Bangalore. So every two years, they conduct the World Ayurveda Congress. When they started, they didn't include Pasu Ayurveda. It took a lot of things to put it uh, Pasu Ayurveda. Now we are planning to have to include this, uh, uh, you know, Bruksha Ayurveda from next year. So uh, these are some of the way for, forward we want, you know, to include, uh, you know, how to take this uh, forward to include these uh, special courses of veterinary Ayurveda so that BMA student can learn. If they will not learn, how, how we will learn? Huh? So some of the, just a case study. So this is the, uh, myself and her, we worked in the breeder farm. You know, there is a poultry breeder farm. You have heard of them. What is this breeder farm means? You are eating the chickens, na? The chickens have both. You come here, na? The chickens have both. Male and female are there, okay? So male, from the male, we collect the semen and we put it in the female. Have you heard it? Yeah, so, so I, yeah, yeah. So um, he might be knowing, but rest of the people think, uh, is it happening really? Yes. Oh, we are collecting semen from 0.5 ml and we are injecting it to 10 uh, female birds. So what happens? At the age of 18, the bird comes to mature age. If the male is not coming at uh, the 22 age, whatever eggs are coming, that is, in, that is not potent. So we are losing. Because one hatching eggs after insemination, because whatever eggs we are eating, they, they are, those are infertile, vegetarian eggs, what Gandhiji told. But these eggs are fertile eggs and these are non-veg eggs, okay, because life exists. So what happens? When it is not coming to um, properly not giving the semen quality, what happens? You know, the eggs are infertile and you cannot get the chicks out of it. So what happens? We have veterinarians have always good ideas with that. We have one injection called as testosterone ethanol, death force. We give it to the male birds. And in immediately semen will increase after 20, 15 days. Okay. So we have, okay. So uh, like this, we collect the semen from the female birds and we inject to the, uh, sorry, we collect from the male birds to the, and we don't call it semen, we call it milking, milk from the, milk from the bird. See, new terms. Okay. And we inject it in the females like this. So what we did uh, in a poultry farm, the 60,000 birds are there and uh, around 300 birds we found out that they are not male birds, not milking. So we formed three groups, T1, T2, T3, because that is the experiment. T1 is the control group. T2, we get the injection. T3, what we get that organic one, that one, that green gram and all these things. So see, what we found that, yes, it is increased. You see, this is the thing. This, uh, this green gram, it increased the process of spermatogenesis, means increase the spore. Only on it increased the testosterone level and garlic increased the epididymis. And we found that when we did the reverse pharmacology, we found that these are the phytochemicals present in that which helps in these things. So this is the reverse pharmacology. And this is the uh, control group. We didn't get any results because we didn't apply anything. T1 injection, see 0 0.4, 0 0.4, after that it is decreasing. But in case of our organic thing, but if you do have alternative, so why will go for that? We have also a journal called as Indian Veterinary Journal because it is publishing since 1924. And Indian Veterinary Association is the oldest association. It started in 1922. So we request if someone is interested to publish article, they can send us. And it is a Scopus, Scopus Index Journal. And for the all the Indian authors, there is no processing and publishing fee. Huh? So agriculture, we do publish because we are all uh, you know, you know uh, working on the interface also the frontier areas like biotechnology and all these things. If it is related to animal, we will definitely have. Thank you. Thank you all.